This video is on trees from Graph Theory. So this is a very very interesting video on trees. And see, let me explain you what are trees. See here, a graph that contains no cycles is called an acyclic graph. And a connected acyclic graph is called a tree. Otherwise, a connected graph with no cycle is called a tree. <clears throat> Its edges are called branches. For example, consider this is a single vertex. So, this is a tree with double vertex V1, V2 and this is a tree with three vertices V1, V2 and V3 and this is also a tree with four vertices and this is a tree with five vertices as they are not having any cycles. So, for example, if you consider this figure, this is V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So, this is not a tree as it is forming two cycles here. So, this is V2, V3, V4, V5 forms a cycle and next V1, V2, V5 also forms a cycle. So, a graph which is having no cycle is called a tree. If it's have a cycle, so it is not a tree at all. So let me explain you what is this root, rooted trees. So a rooted trees is a tree in which a particular vertex, see here, which vertex? A particular vertex is distinguished from the others and is called the root. So out of all vertices, we have to select one vertex and we name it as a root of rooted tree see here naturally trees have roots at the bottom whereas in the graph theory roots will be at the top of the graph a rooted tree is a tree which one vertex is a root so out of all vertices we select one vertex as a root and see here so example of a rooted tree so there are so many conditions here for a rooted tree so if you see I'll distinguish among all these u1 till u14. So all these are vertices u1, u2, u3, u4, u5, u6, u7, u8, u9, u10 till u14. These are all the vertices. And among all these vertices, I am separating this one. So I am separating this u1. So u1, I am considering it as a root. See here. So they are certain levels. Always this will be. See here. So, root will be always a zero level. So, this is a level. And see here, this first one, u2, u3, u4. See, this is u2, u3 and u4 makes a first level. So, this is first level. And next one, so this forms second level. So, this is a second level. And next one, see here u11 and u12 so this is third level and this one makes a fourth level see here so in this tree so we have to split into levels so always the root will be zero level so the next level will be the first level second level third level and fourth level and next what is it we have to learn so we have to learn about leaves so leaves are nothing but which have which are the terminal vertices so the terminal vertices here are 11 and this one is 13 and see here this is a leaf and next one this is a leaf and this is a leaf and u8 is a leaf and u9 is a leaf and next one u10 is a leaf see here are there not leaves here so they don't have any children or they are the terminal vertices of the graph so example see these are all the leaves leaves of this graph so now the leaves are nothing but u11 so it has no other vertices so this is the terminal terminal vertex of this graph and next one u13 is also a terminal vertex u14 and u6 u7 u8 uh, these are all the terminal vertices or which has no children are called leaves and next coming to the next point are internal vertices so what are these internal vertices other than leaves are called the internal vertices so this is a root and other than so other than leaves what are left over this is u2 so these u2 u3 u2 u3 u4 and u5 so these are nothing but 
the internal vertices so these are nothing but the internal vertices so these are nothing but the leaves so so these are nothing but the leaves so these are all the leaves so leaves are the terminal vertices or which have no children so this is the root we have to separate one vertex among the, all the vertex and we have to name it as root and we have to keep it as a zero level and the next one this is level one level two level three and level four so all the terminal vertices from the graph we have to consider those as leaves and next other than leaves these are all the internal vertices and this is the root so this is the fundamental thing which we have to learn and see here from this graph what is uh, zero level u1 is a zero level and first level are u2 u3 u4 u2 u2 u3 u4 and the second level u5 u6 u7 till u10 second level third level u11 and u12 and next one fourth level is u13 u14 and what are the leaves here see leaves are nothing but u6 u7 u8 u9 u10 and next u11 u13 and u14 are the leaves and next one descendants see let me explain you what are descendants so descendants of u2 are if you want the descendants of u2 so you have to check all the descendants of u2 so u2 descendants are nothing but see here u5 u6 u7 u11 u12 u13 u14 so these are all the descendants descendants of u2 and what are the descendants of u3 u8 u9 are the descendants of u3 so for u4 the descendants are u9 and u10 so those are all the descendants see here the descendants of u2 are see from the figure you can catch it u5 u6 u7 u11 u12 u13 and u4 are the descendants so this is about the rooted tree and there is one question on this and see if you understand that concept you can easily answer this one so what are what is the root of what is the root of this one tree so root is nothing but u so the first question for the first question root is nothing but u and next find the leaves on the internal vertices so what are the leaves here so i said you about the leaves are the terminal vertices so this will be a leaf and this will be a leaf and this will be a leaf and this will be a leaf see here the last terminal vertex will be the leaf or so the graph which which are having no children are called leaves so leaves i'll plot so this is nothing but v so the leaves are nothing but v this is x dash this is y dash and z dash are the leaves and what are internal vertices so the internal vertices are nothing but other than leaves are called the internal vertices so all these are internal vertices and let me write this one that this x w z are the internal vertices what is the level of w and z so w and z so for i said you for the root we have to give the zero level so this will be the first level this will be the second level and this will be the third level for w is first level and z is the second level so w level one and z so it will be level two from the graph and next one what are the children of w and z see here for w the children are see only two connections are there two edges are there so x and z are the children of w for w the children are x z and next one for z the children here are y dash z dash so y dash and z dash so for w x and z are the children for z this is y dash and z dash so it's very clear w has two children and z has two children here and next find the descendants of the vertices u and w so for u so the u so these are all the descendants v w x z x dash y dash z dash for u the descendants are from the figure that is v w x 
z this is x dash y dash and z dash so these are all the descendants of u from this graph so this is v w x z x dash y dash z dash are all the descendants of u and see for w so for w the descendants are so down to w they are x z see here this is x z x dash y dash z dash x z this is x dash y dash and z z dash this is x z x dash y dash and z dash and this is how we have to find out what is what are the levels what are the leaves what are the internal vertices and what is uh, uh, the root and how many children are there what are the descendants and i uh, hope you all got an idea on this and let me tell you one shortcut here so that shortcut is also very easy the first one is root so this is nothing but the root so the next one here are the children so this is right child and left child if we have two more children so they'll be grandchildren so this is these are also child see here and let me explain you the relation between these is nothing but so these two are, are if they are if this is a parent and these two are the children so these two will be sibling see here these are siblings see here the relation between these two and these two here are cousins see here these are the cousins and see here and what more is that children this is a parent so for these two for these two children this will be the parent so this will be the parent for these two children and this will be the parent for these two so this is first parent this is one two children and this second so this will be three four and this is five and six so the relation among three five or four six are six four or five three so these are all the cousins these are all the siblings these are parents and this is a simple way to understand what is a root what are children and see here these are so the, the these are the terminal vertices so these are called the leaves of this graph so which has no children are called the leaves so which has no children are called the leaf of the graph thank you so much for watching hope you all guys understand the concept of this i re tried really very hard to explain you and please do follow this channel and subscribe to this channel and please pass it on to your friends if you really like this